well, welcome them up. The Essex and Suffolk, first time at the Norfolk Show, and we're delighted. The Royal Norfolk Show is famous for celebrating all that is great about Norfolk. Already the largest two-day agricultural show in the country, it regularly draws in around 100,000 visitors. The event attracts tremendous support from the business community and is said to bring in millions into the local economy. But what does it mean to local rural businesses? We started preparing for the Norfolk Show probably three months ago on the cattle front. My son has helped do that. He's the one who's the driving force with a younger college student and would have picked the cows and would have started to lead them, groom them and clean them in preparation for the show today and yesterday. On the ice cream front, we've got eight staff working for us today, all of which have been preparing ice creams all week and it will take two to three days to finish clearing here when we finish today. I have been coming to the Norfolk show for 14 years in exactly the same spot. I start preparation for this show in normally February, March, where we construct all handmade and hand-carved walking sticks. As an example of the sticks we do is this. This is hazel, English hazel. We hand build and hand carve everything you see on the stand. There is no foreign wood or foreign antler. It is all British throughout. And the beauty of it is today we have won the reserve price for the most environmentally friendly stand in the show. We were successful in getting a rural enterprise scheme grant that part funded a conversion of a brick barn and other buildings into a small ice cream factory. And I think to be fair, we would have struggled to set our stall out in such a professional manner if we hadn't had the grant. It is a lot of hard work, but I'm sure it does raise your profile. And if you're trying to sell an ice cream product, and it's a good product, you have got to get it out to the public. And by being here and having a stand, that is what we try to do. If anybody out there wishes to start a, a craft business now, regardless of what it is, you need to be at the bigger shows to be seen and to understand what is going on.